What is appraisal gap coverage? I'm RJ Baxter with Fairway Independent Mortgage. I'm gonna answer that question today because it's one of the most common questions that we get from home buyers when they're out making offers on homes. This is one of the things that you can do in this market to help get your offer accepted because it's so competitive out there. So first of all, what is appraisal gap coverage? Basically, what this means is that you are communicating to the seller and accepting to the seller that you're willing to accept an appraised value below the sales price of the house. So usually with appraisal gap coverage, you will define what that number is. So you're, you say, I'm willing to accept a value up to $10,000 below the sales price, for example. So if the appraisal comes in that much lower, you have to accept it. You can't terminate the contract because of that appraisal being lower. Now, if the appraisal comes in below that amount that you specify on the appraisal gap coverage, then you can go to the seller and try to renegotiate the sales price to have them come down on the price. So let's use a real life example. Let's take a $500,000 house and let's say you do a $10,000 appraisal gap coverage. That means that you're willing to accept a value down to 490. If the, if the appraisal comes in at 490, that means you have to come up with that difference between the $500,000 sales price and the $490,000 appraisal. So let's take it, let's look at this example on my way too big sticky note here. I've got this sticky note that I'm gonna put on the wall and we can look at these numbers more exactly together. So on this example, $500,000 sales price home, the gap is 10,000. Again, that means that you're willing to accept an appraisal down to 490. Now as a lender, we have to base your loan, your loan to value ratio, which is your total loan amount versus um, the, the value of the property, that's loan to value ratio, on the lesser of the sales price or the appraisal. So that means if the appraisal comes in low at 490, we have to base your loan to value ratio on 490. So what that means is, if you're doing 20% down, getting an 80% loan, that you have to put $98,000 down to have an 80% loan based on that 490. In addition to the down payment, you have to come up with that $10,000 gap. So in this example, you would have a $108,000 down payment. Now going back to the $500,000 property, if the, if the property appraises at $500,000, that's a $100,000 down payment, 20% of $500,000. So you have to come up with more money out of your pocket with this appraisal gap coverage. So this is important to remember, when you're putting in the offer, a good real estate agent and a good lender will, will help advise you on this to make sure that you have, you have to, obviously have to have the money to cover that gap so that you're not left in a situation where you can't close on the property because you don't have the money and you can't terminate because you have agreed to this appraisal gap coverage. So I hope that helps you guys to understand a little bit more about appraisal gap coverage. Call me if you have any questions or anything else loan related. I'm always here for you. You can also text or email me. Once again, my name is RJ Baxter, Fairway Dependent Mortgage. Have a great rest of your day.